Hi guys, my name is Fina Gemskull and welcome to episode 2 of Mean Girls Sorority Rush. In the first episode, which I will link down below and up on the screen now, we started college, we thought we'd got rid of Regina, it was all going so well and then she turned up right at the end. She is somehow, she is at college with us. I don't know why, but let's go ahead and see. So episode two, high school is so last year. At college, you, Janice and Damien have finally escaped Regina George. Or have you? Well, we know we haven't because she's there. Oh. Adverts, adverts. I've got to watch these adverts. Okay, here we go. I've just had to watch about three, four adverts. Oh, but we're done. Okay, Regina, I thought you were at Yale. Oh, turns out Yale people are the human equivalent of a mouldy dis dish sponge. Ew. It was like a prison camp full of nerds. Oh, Regina, this room is tiny. I guess I can make it work. Oh, is this when she was at Yale? Where's my bed? <laughs> like my wardrobe could fit in that microscopic closet. What am I, a monk? I'm talking complete transformation. Thanks, but I've got a paper due. 30 minutes, we'll do false lashes, bleach your moustache. You could almost be hot. Please leave me alone. And with a modest budget increase, we could turn every fountain on campus into a champagne fountain. She had high, um, what's the word? Lots of ideas for what she wanted to turn Yale into. Clearly they didn't accept her there. Oh no, they're just all laughing at her. Oh look, she's so mad. Gretchen, Karen, let's go! Surely Gretchen and Karen. Who are you talking to? Would Gretchen and Karen go to Yale and then they'd change because of Regina? Surely not. Those people were so pathetic. They wouldn't know a good idea if it smacked them in their acne-ridden faces. Champagne fountains are a brilliant idea. They do sound quite good, actually. You're a visionary. But Gretchen, weren't you doing an in internship for your dad's company? He had me researching flavour profiles in the French countryside. But those people put butter on everything. And I'm allergic to carbs, so I almost starved to death. We've just spent like three, four weeks in the French countryside. It was lovely, I have to say. I didn't actually realise that French, I'm going off a little bit off, off topic, I didn't realise that French was actually quite so beautiful as it is. It's very beautiful. Um, back to this anyway. <laughs> Wait, Karen, didn't you move to LA to shoot Karen Uncensored? Yeah, but the lights there gave me a headache. <laughs> oh no. She's got like a little phone <laughs> and they've all got like their big cameras. How did you even get into U of E anyway? Through the front gate. Come on ladies, let's head in. But they've just taken their spot, our spot at the party. Wake up Janice, wake up. <laughs> Damien punch me in the face so I wake up. You know what, don't even wake me. I'll just curl up and die <laughs> in this nightmare. So I don't want to get in the middle of whatever just happened. You can all come in. Oh, he's a nice guy. Thanks, Cameron. Thanks. If anyone asks, you're with me. Cute and generous. Damon's got a little bit of a crush, I think. Oh, here's Michelle, our little twin. I'm so happy you're here. You should meet Tamara. She's president of Delta Mu Tau. She's the one who really decides who gets into the sorority. Tamara is riding a horse. <laughs> hey, Tamara. Greenwood here is thinking about rushing. Rushing? And here I was thinking you looked like a lost little puppy. She's certainly got an attitude. Why are you interested in Delta Mutau? Oh, definitely the academics, community service, parties. Mm. What should we say? Should we say parties? Is that a bit, I mean, I feel like it's a bit lame to say academics. And I, I'm gonna say parties. <laughs> Maybe that was the wrong thing. Parties. I mean, look around, this party is next level. Parties. <laughs> Greenoid's idea of a party is a night knitting with her mum. Zing. <laughs> um, can you give me a second? Regina, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to impress Delta Mutau. 
Hey green eyed, so nice to see you again. Oh, how sweet. What are you doing at this party? You aren't the only one who loves Delta Mutau. Is this, this is just isn't gonna be like a, a battle between Regina and myself to get into this sorority, is it? That'll be, anno that'll be annoying. Every serious power player to graduate this school was in this sorority. You spat a little when you said sorority. Karen, do you mind? <laughs> so, whether I end up serving as President of the United States or just playing her in an award-winning film, Delta Mutau is my first step on the path to glory. Listen, we both know what happened last year. How about a truce? That's not gonna happen, is it? We'll help each other get in. Hmm... Not normally my style, <laughs> but for you, I'm on board. Welcome to Team Regina. Oh my goodness. See you around. <laughs> I, I love Bouncy Castle. Um, oh, this is coming. I like this guy. Hey, Green Eyed. Hey, Cam. How's the party? Fun. The Delta Mutau people are great. You definitely should rush. Delta Mutau is the coolest sorority on the campus. Yeah, but I blew it with Tamara. She's hard to impress. It took me a year to crack the Tamara code, but now I'm an expert. Unfortunately, I don't have a full year to figure this out. Delta Mutau is tough to get into. Want some advice? Could give you a real leg up in the rushing process. Oh, gems, damn these gems. Turn him down, because we haven't got 28 gems. That's okay. Thanks, though. No problem. You've been so nice tonight. I owe you one. Hmm. I know a way you can repay me. Are you comfortable wearing shoes? Are you wearing comfortable shoes? Not are you comfortable wearing shoes? <laughs> Surely. <laughs> what? Oh, yay. Surely you take your shoes off when you go on the bounce castle. What do you think? <laughs> Look at them bouncing around. Uh, this is great, great. It's absolutely great. I love bouncy castles. Yay, we're having so much fun. Uh oh, Mika is not impressed. Green eyed. Be right there. <laughs> oh no. Who was that guy? Uh, his name's Cam. No idea. I mean, let's just be honest. It, his name's Cam. There's nothing going on. His name's Cam. He's the president of. Theta Vici. <laughs> oh, cool. How was the meet and greet? See, he wasn't jealous or angry at all. He was fine. Uh, awesome. I met Adrian. Who's that? Only a legend in the film program. Adrian's the star of an indie web series and making a short film that I'm dying to audition for. Exciting. Auditions start early tomorrow, so I think I'm going to head back. You good here? Go get your beauty rest. Aww. Oh my god, did you see Regina? What now? She and Tamara are like long lost sisters. Oh no, this isn't good. But enough about her. I've already been asked to rush six fraternities. Great, now I have two informants for my article. What article? The one I'm writing to expose Greek life for the sham that it is, and the one that's going to get me into the journalism program. Really? Don't you realise that the whole Greek system is an organised society of plastics? Hazing, eating disorders, cheating. And now I've got you two on the inside. I'm not helping you with this harebrained scheme. Brainwashed already. Sad. Greenoid, remember all the sage advice I've given you? Like making a fake dating profile to a college admissions person? Exactly. <laughs> now it's your turn to help me. Sorry Janice, I can't betray a Delta Mutau. <laughs> Fine, and it's time for the nuclear option. Wait, are you saying what I think you're saying? Indeed I am. I'm going to rush Delta Mutau. Janice is, oh my goodness. Regina won't know what hit her. Oh, <laughs> look at her. She's having a ball. Janice is gonna try and get in. Is this what's happening? I think so. 
ready to go? Have to get to the sorority house by 11 to pledge. That's what you're wearing? First impressions matter, Greenoid. They'll notice. I kind of used to live, and not anymore, I've thrown away. I lived in my ripped jeans for maybe about three years. <laughs> the, the holes just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I refused to throw them away. I have now, though, eventually. <laughs> Um, oh wow, that was a beautiful dress for 16. Risk it and wear what you're wearing. Do you know I may have to buy some gems for this game? Let me know what you think in a comment. Shall I buy some gems so we can try some of these, um, some of these options? Let me know what you think. For now, I'll risk it. I don't have time to change. Let's just go. I mean, you have to admit, the house is pretty awesome. Blech, this facade, facade, is the perfect metaphor for the entire Greek system. Oh, look at it like, oh, Janice. Oh, 20 minutes later. So, if you know in your heart that this is the house for you, go ahead and repeat our pledge, word for word. I, Emma Nooks buddy, pledge my intent to join Delta Mu Tau. Happy to have you, Em. Oh, look at these, they all look nice. Michelle, uh, next is, oh, Janice. I, Janice Ian, pledge my heart, mind, and soul to Delta Mutau. Really? I'm sorry for the things I said about sororities. I was just scared I wouldn't get in, but I want to try. Okay, well, welcome. <laughs> Who's next? Oh, look what we're wearing. I wish I could have gotten in, into something nice. I, Green Eye Gemsicle, pledge... Shut up. Oh, that was a bit rude. You're really going through with it? Green Eye Gemsicle and Janice Ian think they have what it takes to be a Delta Mutau. Karen, are you getting this? It's comedy gold. <laughs> Green Eye look, looks like she could be my twin sister in this light. Uh, Karen, your camera's on selfie mode. <gasps> I love Karen. She's such a dope. What about our truce? Green-eyed, green-eyed, green-eyed. Look around you and tell me what you see. A room full of talented and capable women and the human incarnation of Satan. <laughs> there are 13 girls competing for six spots. 50 bucks says the chick over there with the curly hair drops out before we even get started. Oh, poor thing. Beret and fishtail will be the first real cut. You can smell it on them. <laughs> Plus, losers always stick together on the first day. <laughs> oh, look, Borsha. That one's name is Borsha. No sorority would take on the burden of a sister with such a heinous name. The other five rushes are the best-selling teen author, a girl who owns her own cosmetics line, a girl who survived a plane crash, a fifth-generation Delta Mutar, and a laser hair removal heiress. Let's face it, they're all getting chosen. <laughs> that leaves us with one spot between you, me, Gretchen, and Janice. Janice is dressed like she lives in a van. <laughs> And good old Gretch here has the IQ of a Cocker Spaniel. They're a very loyal breed. <laughs> Poor Gretchen. That makes you and I the only two serious contenders. So I hate to tell you, the truce is off. Oh, sorry Regina, I want this more than you do. You're going down. You really think you can beat me at this, don't you? I know I can. Well then, may the best woman win. I, Greeno Gemsicle, pledge my intent to steamroll the naysayer haters, naysaying haters and join Delta Mutai. I, Regina George, pledge to share my beauty, talent and humility with the sisters of Delta Mutai. Till death do us part, ladies. This is going to be epic. <gasps> so it is, this is going to be a battle, like a fight between ourselves and Regina George as to who gets in the sorority. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Let me know what you think about the whole gem situation down below in the comments. And let me know what games you are playing on episode as well. People have been sending me some messages saying they're playing different um, games and which ones they're playing. Let me know because I'd like to do some other ones of these because you guys seem to like them. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye!